हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ सिस्को पैकेट ट्रेसर सीरीज एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी डिस्कस द राउटर्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी व्हाट इज राउटर राउटर इज अ नेटवर्किंग डिवाइस दैट फॉरवर्ड डाटा बिटवीन टू और मोर लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क्स एंड ऑन इंटरनेट आल्सो सो वी कैन से अ राउटर इज अ डिवाइस दैट कनेक्ट्स टू और मोर डिफरेंट लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क्स and it's a layer 3 device as per osi model and it operate in network layer a router does exactly what its name means that is route the data and it has memory and it stores routing table in his memory and routers are inevitable device in the internet means without router we can't connect to the internet now we will see how router work This is an example of simple network and this is a router it has two interfaces this is interface number 1 and this is interface number 2 this interface is going to connect to one local area network and this interface is going to connect another local area network and the ip address of this interface is the default gateway of all the pcs and end devices of this local area network and same way IP address of this interface is the default gateway of all the PCs in this local area network. Now we will replicate this scenario in our Cisco packet tracer. To do this, we need to open Cisco packet tracer in our PC. In this workspace area, first we will create two local area network. So for that, I am bringing the two Cisco switches. These two switches are used to creating. to different local area networks and let us have only three pcs in each local area network this is pc1 pc2 and pc3 so these three pcs are going to be in this local area network and we took another three pcs for this side second local area network this is pc1 pc2 and pc3 now we need cables we need to use ethernet straight through cables in order to connect these devices so i'm using ethernet straight through cable to connect this pc to the switch similarly the same cable is used in second local area network to connect the pcs to the switch so now cable connectivity is done and now we will assign the ip address to all the individual pcs to establish a local area network So for this first PC let us assign the IP address 10.10.10.1 10.10.10.1 and the IP address of this second PC is 10.10.10.2 and let the IP address of this third PC is 10.10 dot 10 dot 3 likewise we have to assign ip address to this local area network also but totally the different ip range so for this first pc i assign 192.168.1.1 dot dot and for this second pc i assign 192.168.1.2 dot dot and for the last pc it will be 192.168.1.3 so far we will have established one local area network here and second local area network this side for better understanding let me give a label to all these devices like this this is local area network 1 lan 1 and this is using ip scheme 10.0.0.0 with a subnet mask 255.0.0.0 and this is a class a ip address and this is local area network 2 and this is using the ip scheme 192.168.1.0 with 255.255.255.0 subnet mask and this is a class c ip scheme and both are totally different network and if this pc from lan 1 network want to send some data packet to this pc in lan 2 network it need a router to do this communication now it's time to bring the router into our scenario 
So let's go to the router and let me choose this for 331 router. Now we need at least two interfaces on this router. One interface will be connected on this LAN 1 switch and second interface will be connected on this LAN 2 switch. Let's go and see the physical view of this router. Click on this router and here this router has some interfaces. We click on configuration and here we can see there are 3 gigabit ethernet interfaces on this router. Gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 2. We need only two interfaces in order to connect our two local area networks. So what type of cable is used in order to connect these interfaces to these switches? As we know, switch is a layer 2 device and router is a layer 3 device. So they are different devices and to connect different type of devices, we need Ethernet straight through cable. Now I choose straight through cable. From here, I go to local area network 1 switch and this time I select Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 port in this switch. And on the router side, I click on router and here I connect on Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 port. We have to use the same type of cable that is Ethernet straight through cable for second local area network. On this switch, I choose Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 port and on the router side, I connect on Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 port. By default, the ports in the routers are turn off or we can say they are in shutdown mode. We need to enable that ports by using no shut command. Also, we are required to assign the IP addresses to the router interfaces. We already assigned 10.10.10.1 to this PC and 10.10.10.2 to this PC and this is having the IP address 10.10.10.3. And on other side, this PC is having the IP address 192.168.1.1 and this PC is having 192.168.1.2 and the last PC is having the IP address 192.168.1.3 I put the label just to identify the IP address of each PC now we will assign the IP address to this side interface of the router that is 10.10.10.100 and to this interface let it be 192.168.1.100 Now to assign the IP address to the router interface, just click on the router, then click on CLI option and here just press couple of enter. First we will type enable and enter. Now we are in enable mode. To do the change in router configuration, we need to go to configuration mode by typing command config space t and enter now we are in configuration mode first we are going to assign the ip address to the router gig ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 port for that we type interface space gig ethernet space 0 slash 0 slash 0 and enter to give ip address to this interface we type ip space address space 10.10.10.100 and subnet is 255.0.0.0 and enter. We successfully assign the IP address to this interface. But as we know, this interface is disabled by default on the router. To enable this interface on the router, we need to type command no shutdown and enter. And here you can see this interface is up now. Now exit from this interface by typing exit and enter. Now to following the same steps, we are going to assign the IP address to gig ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 interface also. For that I type interface gig ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 and enter. To assign the IP address to this interface, we type IP address. 192.168.1.100 and subnet is 255.255.255.0 and enter. 
we assign the IP address to this interface also and to enable this interface we type command no shutdown and enter that's it and here you can see this interface is up also now the entire setup is ready we go exit from here on this side of the router it is having a different local area network and on this side of the router it is having a different local area network so far we have completed the configuration now let's try to ping a computer from this local area network to this local area network we will try to pinging from this 10.10.10.1 computer to this 192.168.1.3 computer for that i click on this 10.10.10.1 computer go to command prompt and type ping 192.168.1.3 and enter you can observe that we are not getting reply from destination computer did we miss something yes we failed to do one configuration and the problem is we assign the ip address to all computers in both lan network but we did not assign the gateway ip address to these computers the ip address of this interface is 10.10.10.100 and this is the default gateway for all the pcs or all the devices in this network we did not give that so far so just click on pc once again go to the ip configuration and type the default gateway here that is 10.10.10.100 and copy this and similarly paste it on all other pcs on this local area network so all the pcs are having the default gateway as 10.10.10.100 and we will do the same thing on this side also but the default gateway for all these pieces should be 192.168.1.100 click on this first pc go to ip configuration and type 192.168.1.100 just copy this one and paste this in the default gateway of all other pcs we are done with the configuration part now once again from this pc we will try to ping this pc just click on this pc go to the command prompt and type ping 192.168.1.3 and enter sometime the first ping will be failed but we will get the reply from the second packet here you can see the first packet was failed but we get the replies after that this is in real time mode and now same thing i will show you in simulation mode for that i click on this simulation mode option and then take a packet from here let this be the source computer and let this be the destination computer now we click on this play button the switch receive this packet from pc and forward that to the router now router receive this packet from the switch and forward that packet to the LAN2 switch. LAN2 switch, forward that packet to the destination computer. Now the reply will come. And here you can see the destination computer send the reply to the LAN2 switch. Then LAN2 switch, forward that packet to the router. And router, forward that packet to LAN1 switch. And switch, forward the reply to the source computer. And this is a successful communication between two PC in different local area network via router i hope so now you understand how to connect to different local area networks using router practically in cisco packet tracer thank you for watching and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you